for everyone. And back by popular demand, we have Puppet Jesus today. Good morning, good morning. And Puppet Jesus also says good morning. How are you feeling today? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs halfway. Puppet Jesus, you are feeling thumbs up today. That is wonderful. May I ask why? Oh, Puppet Jesus is excited about the rain. I don't know. Excited about the rain? It's pretty dreary out there. What do you think? Are you excited about the rain at home? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling thumbs down because we can't play outside. Oh, I see. Puppet Jesus says the rain reminds him of his baptism, like this water right here. Did you know this water actually comes from the rain outside? And it reminds him of his baptism, and remembering his baptism, Jesus says it helps him remember how much God loves him. And he also says that the rain reminds him of his baptism, and in his baptism, he remembers he does not have to pretend to be anyone other than who God created him to be. I don't know, Jesus. Aren't I supposed to be just like you? No, I thought that's what it meant to be a Christian, was that I was supposed to be like Jesus. No? Well, then what does it mean? Oh, Jesus says to be a Christian actually means that you're supposed to be the best you you could ever be. So I'm supposed to be the best Pastor Gusty. He says, actually, I'm supposed to just be the best Gusty. And that being pastor is part of being the best Gusty. Wow. Jesus, I don't know. That sounds really scary sometimes. You just want me to be myself, and that's what it means to be a Christian? And all of our wonderful, beloved children out there, that to be a Christian is just to be themselves? But but what if we're not good enough, Jesus? What if What if we're not smart enough or strong enough or pretty enough? He says, just don't pretend. Just don't pretend, you know. I remember when I was a little girl, I pretended not to be smart because I thought people would like me better if I was not smart. And Jesus is reminding me, now sometimes that I'm a grown-up, I pretend to be smarter than I really am because I think people will like me then. Oh, I know, Jesus. It's so embarrassing. You're saying that we should just be who we really, really are. Them too? You too. We just have to be who we really are. I don't know. That sounds really hard to do sometimes because I get afraid that if I'm who I really am, then people won't like me. Oh, um that it's really about who, if God likes me, huh? And God likes me when I'm just being my true self. Them too, huh? Oh boy. You know what? I understand why you are so excited about the rain and the reminder of your baptism. Oh, he says that, that the water can help wash away all of our fears, that it can just soothe our spirits and remind us that it's okay just to float in the goodness of who God created us to be, and we don't have to be afraid. Oh, and he says the most important part of the waters of the baptism are that they say, you are God's beloved child, and God is very pleased with you just the way you are. Oh, Jesus says that he knows how hard that is, that he had to live through it too. And he promises that 
Only good things will come in the end, even when it's really hard. Well, that is a good, good thing to remember. Definitely a thumbs up. Oh, he says he wants to remember again. So I'm taking this water that's actually from the rain outside. Did you know that? This water right here is from the rain outside, and Jesus is remembering his baptism. And you want me to do that too. Okay, here I go. Oh, and, and if if you end up outside in the rain, don't worry. It's just a little reminder of your baptism. Oh, that sounds really good. Why don't we keep remembering that this rain helps us remember to be exactly who God created us to be? Isn't that a good thing to remember? Why don't you pray with me and repeat after me? Thank you, God, for the waters of baptism. And help us, God, remember to be exactly who you created us to be. And let the church say, Amen. Thank you, Puppet Jesus. I'm so glad you came to hang out with us today.